been involved in some type of action sports as far back as I can remember. You know, I grew up on BMX bikes and three-wheelers and four-wheelers. When I became a teenager, that's when the dirt bikes really caught my eye and started to have fun with that. It's intense. I mean, there's nothing else like it. And after the first time I tried that, it was uh, I was hooked for life, for sure. It's, it's definitely something I can't shake. Getting to my latter years of high school is really when I decided to take the racing seriously. First it was motocross, and then shortly evolved into racing snowmobiles. I mean, I got to travel all over the United States, traveled to a couple different countries, Canada, Sweden, Iceland. I mean, I was living my dream as, a, as one of the best snowcross racers in the world. In 2008 came around, I just uh, signed up with a new race team and a lot of changes happened that year. And you know, I had a new fire under me and, and was really motivated to do well that year. And second round of that season, and we were in Northern Michigan, the flag flew and I got this worst hole shot ever. And I went to make a move on this rough downhill section and I, I hit a hole funny and bucked me off the left side and I landed feet first and on impact. My left leg took the bulk of the hit. My foot is actually laying on top of my chest in the wrong direction. I remember the doctor coming in and my overall health is deteriorating uh, fast. And at that point he said, you know, with all these complications, we think it's the best course of action to amputate your leg just above the knee. So uh, I gave the okay and went into surgery and they removed my leg about three inches above the knee center. So the spring of 2009, you know, just a, just a couple months after, you know, I, I got up on my prosthesis for the first time, I'm, I'm realizing like, I need something better. I couldn't find something that would allow me to get back on the snowmobile and ride the way I, I thought I should. I'm like, you know what, I, I think I could design something. I mean, basically it's suspension component for my leg. From that point forward, I made it 100% focus uh, to try and design and fabricate a new leg that would allow me to get on the dirt bike. You know, I, I think back to the, my ninth grade drafting experience and, and how I looked at things three-dimensionally and, and just started putting it down on paper and I didn't have CAD software to do that at that point. It's all pencil and paper and lots of eraser. And uh, so I worked on it for about six weeks. I just remember the feeling of excitement I had when I was putting those last pieces together. I mean, this was the thing. This was the thing that was gonna get me back into action doing what, what I love most. And that was uh, riding dirt bikes. And it was a pretty incredible feeling to, uh, to solve a problem like that, to build my own leg to get me back into to what I really love doing. Seven months after the injury happened, I went and compete at Summer X Games Supercross, and I won a silver medal. It was, it was such an incredible feeling. You know, I realized that there's, there's something here, this device that I'm working on could help out more than just me if I refine it and create it a little more versatile. And then in early 2010, we, uh, we started BioDapt with the intent of creating the highest performance lower limb prosthetic equipment for action sport type activities. So my team at BioDap here works out really well. I've got Mitch as a, our CAD designer. You know, all the ideas stem from, from my mind and what I think needs to be created and, and collaborating with him with uh, my pencil paper drawings, you know, just the bare sketches and then having him be able to start the design and then just uh, send those files back and forth. So he's working on these projects remotely sometimes. So having the ability to communicate these files back and forth, you know, as, as he's traveling or I'm traveling uh, is, is really key and it keeps, keeps the design process moving uh, all the time. What the new SolidWorks software is capable of is uh, it makes the process so much 
easier and quicker and uh, allows us to do so many more things. We can build these assemblies on screen virtually and then we can test them to see where the weak points are. And one of the design uh, challenges with this new VersaFoot 2 was having a compact design but keeping it really strong. We do the simulations virtually and then we go to the, the bench and we actually do the real test on the assembly. So we're looking at stresses up to like 500 plus pounds in some situations with dynamic loads. This is the current rev of Motoni and it hasn't changed much since the very beginning. And uh, the unique part about it is this track roller system. Basically we've got two inches of travel in this shock. I have to translate that into 130 degrees of movement at the knee joint. I always had versatility in mind with all of our components. I wanted it to work really well for as many sports and activities as possible. At the Paralympic Games in 2018, Paralympic snowboarding, there was nine athletes that got on the podium uh, with a total of 11 medals. Um, all wearing biodapt equipment. So that, that, was a, that was a really proud moment for myself uh, and the rest of my company. That makes me more proud than winning a medal myself. Because I mean, winning is pretty awesome, but when you can really have a positive effect on a lot of other people, that's, that's, that's priceless.